Now, is there a right or wrong way to put these on? Yes, I say there is. Because I, I like to start down here because I'm, I'm right-handed. So I like to always hold everything in my left hand and use my screwdriver in the right hand. I never like to flip it and try to do anything and have it awkward. So I always start at the ground wire, and then I do the white wires, then I do the black wires. And I'll show you how I do that. Get okay. just kind of curl that up a little bit. I want to slip that on there so it's going the right direction. And I want to swivel it over. There's a little tip on the ground terminal. And I want to take that and just pinch it together. Okay, so it's going the right direction. And then I'm going to hold this here and attach it. Screw it in. Okay. Holding it in my left hand, tightening it up in my right. It's a very natural way. Okay, now before I flip it around like that, now I'm going to work on my white wires. So see why I leave them curled up? And I want does it really matter which white wire goes to which screw? No, because there's a tab on the side. You don't want to break that off. You just leave that tab. It doesn't matter which wire these go to. Or if you wanted to put a pigtail on here, and if you had three or four white wires in the box, you come out with just two and connect it there or whatever. Okay. So now I've got to have enough room in here. And this, this one looks just a hair too much. Okay, so I, I do the top one first, get that one out of my way. Flip it out under there, and kind of wiggle it, pull down on there. I want to kind of hold that, take the slop out of it, and pinch that. See, I just crimped or pulled the back side together. Okay, now I can tighten that up. See? got the plug in my left hand the whole time. I just want to do the same thing. This one's kind of tough because I don't have much room here, do I? That's that's why you want that screw out as far as possible so you can slip it in this way. Sometimes people want to slip it up this way and then over. Okay, but if you got that screw out all the way, you can do it this way. Okay, now I just take that tip. That's why I have to have enough of that curly cue over so I can grab it. Hold that on there and screw it down. Okay. Now I can take this and swivel it around. Okay, just like that. Now I can work on this side. So far, so good. Now see I've got the plug in my left hand still. And now I can work from the top screw here with the curly cue going up over the top. Let's go in the right direction. Okay, then I kind of pull that down like that. And I can hold this and kind of hold on that. Make sure the curly cue is out far enough. I have to reposition it so I can grab it there. And now that's tight, see. It's going the right way. Now I can Pull the sl any slop out of it, hold it, and tighten that screw down. Everything I do in my left hand here. Okay, now I got enough room for the bottom. Just makes it easier for me, I think, if I do the top one first. But I mean, you could do the bottom one first. Probably doesn't really matter. It's just how I do it. Anyway, looks like the the curly cue was just a hair too tight. I want to just kind of hold it in there like that, pull it in there, pull it back, and hold on to it so that the slop, I don't want the slop back this way and tighten it. I want all of that out up against the screw. Now I can, now I can crimp that down, pinch that like that, and tighten this up. I'm almost ready to put that back in the wall now. Now let's talk about this for a minute. We had the other plug here without the ground on there. 
Okay, now we've got the ground on there. And on here, we had a ground wire inside the box and it wasn't hooked up because there was no ground on this plug, okay? So I'm making the assumption, somebody added this plug in here, this outlet location. It already had the, the ground wires in there. I'm making the assumption the ground wires go into an improved area, go up over, tie into another circuit somewhere, up to the electrical panel, it's all grounded properly. And, and now I've got the ground wire connected to the plug, this outlet. I am now making the assumption that this is all going to be grounded properly. Okay. Let's push this back in the wall. Before I just cram this in here willy-nilly, what I like to do is I like to take these screws out because as I'm pushing it, I want to get this all the way tight to the box. And because the wires are so short, I want to make sure I get it pushed in there properly because this is a plastic box. And if I just get it in there, and think, I'll just drive these screws right into the plastic box. It could strip out of the box or could start pulling this portion apart from here. So it only takes me a second to pull this off. Lots of times these screws are connected with just a little plastic goodie. This little plastic goodie on the back side to hold that, see? And that's kind of how that works. You don't even need that. Okay? You don't need this little black thing at all. And that's just there. That's just how they come. And if this if these wires were bigger and I had more room here, maybe I'd leave those in. But I like to take these out. Okay. Now I can I can kind of flop those wires down. And I want to hold my my finger down there and then I want to kind of push up on here and I want to spaghetti it kind of like an S. And it's kind of tricky because these wires aren't any longer. I'm just going to have to... See, I try to keep the bottom ones down and I pull up on that. So I got like a natural S going on here. So as I push it, now, now it kind of spaghetti's in. So see, that's why I got it. You see now why I, I like to keep those screws out because the screws would hold, hold it right there for me pushing it in all the way. And I want... I want those wires in there like that, see. I know that's going to be good. If I look at that, and if it's crooked, I can take this and kind of bend it over to the left, bend it to the right, whatever, before I get the screw situated, okay? That looks pretty good right there. Now I can just put these screws in here, knowing, knowing that I can suck this all the way up. What if I got it that far and I thought, oh, I'll just suck it up and there's a wire back there keeping this from pushing in. I'm never going to know that until it happens and then I'm going to strip it and it's not going to hold and I'm going to have to find some other screws or whatever. Not a good scene to do that. Okay. I'll just tighten this up now. See, it fits right in between that notch, and I'm just going to line it up into the middle first. Now that gets the, the plug that much closer to the wall, and it doesn't stick out of the cover plate, and, and it doesn't allow the cover plate to gap off the wall there, too. Okay, that looks pretty good. I can look at that and line it up, or I can put on the existing cover plate and see how that lines up stand back, look at it, and if that was off, then I undo those screws, and I can slide it over to the left, to the right, top right, bottom left, whatever, to line it up before I put the cover plate on. Hello. Okay. There you go. Now see, because I was able to get it in there and line it up straight, it lines up nice with the cover plate too. Normally, 
you know I mean if it's crooked this side might stick way out this side might be pushed way in you can adjust that if you if you do that before you screw everything up to the wall if you happen to see it you could always pull it back out and know to be careful on the next one okay all right there's your plug all nicely grounded well that's all I have for this time but I'll be back with more videos.